Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking. Today, I'm at the Aptera headquarters with their Alpha prototype. We're gonna walk through to see what this vehicle's like. And I have to say, this is without a doubt the most unique vehicle we have ever reviewed on our channel. And today, we have a special guest, Brooke and Chris, who are gonna walk us through the vehicle as well. With that, let's see everything this vehicle has to offer. So first impressions of that tear are fantastic. It's very comfortable. It's a lot bigger in person when you first see it than you first initialize it to be. When I looked at it in videos and pictures and everything on the internet, it looked a lot smaller, but now that I'm here in person, there's so much room. I feel like I have as much room in here as I do in my Tesla Model 3, which is beyond me. It's a really tall car, lots of headroom, lots of space, and there's seven feet behind me of bedroom. You could camp back there. I mean, are you kidding me? This car is great. And don't even get me started on the price. So Aptera tells me that this car only takes 100 watts per mile to operate, which to me is astounding. When I tested my Tesla on the way from San Francisco down to San Diego here today for this video, I was getting 254 watts per mile, and that's the lowest I've ever experienced in my Tesla. So the fact they're getting 100, that's astounding, and that's all due to this aerodynamic shape. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I might buy one of these. Now at this point, you're probably wondering what the heck this vehicle is. If you're unfamiliar, this is a new auto cycle from a manufacturer known as Aptera. They're in the process of delivering a solar vehicle capable of over 1,000 miles of battery powered range. Their drag ratio is so low that it even has the option to charge 40 miles of range a day via solar panels integrated throughout the body. They offer battery pack ranges from 250, 400, 600, and 1,000 miles. The best part is the 250 mile version starts for around the same price as a Honda Civic. And here is CEO and co-founder Chris explaining their inspiration behind the design. It's a shame that today's transportation industry is so inefficient. You put gasoline in a vehicle, you burn it, and you only get about 25% of the energy out of that gasoline. The rest is just up in smoke, literally. Uh, we started with horse and buggy four-wheel technology over 100 years ago. And uh, now we've evolved that four-wheel technology into uh, big SUVs and sedans. The automotive landscape of today is far too concerned with risk and would never think about stepping you know, outside of the box to make a composite vehicle that's super lightweight and aerodynamic because it's so much different than what's available on the market. We see losses in heat, we see losses in friction, we see losses in aerodynamics and weight. Um, everything to us is an engineering challenge to make things more aerodynamic, lightweight, um, so they use, uh, use less energy. We think that energy should be used to turn your wheels. Uh, that starts with aerodynamics, because in a typical vehicle you use over 60% of your fuel just pushing the air out of the way at highway speeds. So if you could take that aerodynamic drag down to zero, you'd instantly get 60% better fuel economy. With Aptera, we did just that, more aerodynamics, Lighter weight, efficient powertrain, gets you further with less energy. Now let's meet our test driver, Chris, who is gonna give us a ride in the Alpha and Beta prototypes. Alpha is designed to showcase the styling cues and aerodynamics of the vehicle. Beta is meant to symbolize all the engineering and components that will be seen on the final Gamma production version. How long have you been working at Aptera for? I think over six months now, yeah. And how would you enjoy it? I love it. it Aptera is a fantastic company. It's just a bunch of engineers who are really dedicated to make it happen. So it's really, you know, rewarding. The prototype that actually drives, you don't see that very often <laughs> when visit the car companies. That's true. A lot of people just have, uh, like, show vehicles that don't work, but all of our vehicles are drivable. In our Gamma vehicle in production, this is a yoke. So imagine oh, this really? top part cut off, cut off yeah. and the left and right screens are centered right above the wheel. And that gives you a really nice view of the road at all times at a quick glance. 
pretty good, right? That's zippy. So, so this is the front wheel drive beta, which you'll be in next, is the uh, all wheel drive. So a lot of people, you know, think of hub motors and don't think of zippy, but uh, these hub motors are really good. Another misconception with Aptera is, is that it's not very spacious inside, but how does it feel? As you said, I come from a custom model 3, and I feel like I have almost as much room, if maybe like maybe 2% less room. It's very manageable in here. Headroom is great, elbow room is spacious. Oh, and I like the seating position. I really love how your legs are so much in front of you. Yeah. It feels like you can just like stretch out. I know, you can fully stretch out your yeah. legs. Yeah. And in production, the whole interior is 1% bigger by volume, so okay. you're gonna see, you know, two inches more headroom up top. The seats will be in a more comfortable position, but this gives you a great feel. Let's do it. Nice. So I know there's the option to add the motor on the third wheel as well. So let me go into beta. Beta is the all wheel drive. So okay. you'll get to experience that as well. But more zippy, you know, zippy than most people would need, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like if you're getting a solar electric vehicle, you can be efficient but also, you know, go fast. Yeah, still have fun with it. Yeah, exactly. So you can choose, right? Yeah. I love the way it feels, at least in the passenger seat. The acceleration puts you right in the back. Can you tell it's a three wheeler at all? So far, no. I know, I know I'm not gonna be allowed to drive it yet, but I'm super excited for the day that I will because I really wanna I really wanna push it through a corner and see how that feels. Because in you know high corner situations like that, like race car drivers, for example, you could be on a racetrack and you always lose traction on, on one of your wheels, right? So yeah. you actually effectively end up having three wheels on the ground if you're like a race car that driver in a, in a turn. Yeah. So on um, Aptera, all three wheels are on the ground at all times. You don't really yeah, you never feel that like loss of one of your tires if you're going super fast. Yeah, and again, in production, the trunk's gonna be two inches deeper and four inches longer. Oh, Already, wow, it's okay. a lot of space, but in production, you're gonna just have way, way too much space. Two or to four inches changing on a car, especially a two-seater car this size, that is a huge, huge difference. It really, this feels like a normal vehicle. It's normal, except for everyone looking at you. Yes, I'm sure you noticed that. Probably more than any other car on the road, any vehicle, like Aptera turns looks. Every Everyone who's looking at this is wondering what the hell it is. And then you, you know, tell them, no, it starts at 25,900 for a 250 mile range. A lot mm -hmm. of people are like, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. The reason we can, you know, achieve that price is just because we use way less battery packs. You know, the Tesla pack in this same vehicle goes a thousand miles. So yeah. we're able to offer a quarter size battery pack uh, to go 250 miles. All right. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Torquey motors, like super great. Even though it's one to one binding, they're just super good. <laughs> so already you can feel the improved suspension. Yeah, it feels way smoother, like right off yeah, the bat. It's so much nicer. The suspension team really killed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. It's I really, really like how it, like, it keeps going. It was at this moment that he knew he f up. This thing just flies. Yes. Oh my god, this is the one I want. So production's gonna be just like this, but with the, all the fit and finish. It's, I mean, at least in the passenger seat, it feels so much more confident in the corners. It's so locked in, it's awesome. It's so fun bringing this thing around the racetrack. The suspension, the cornering, its ability to move. And again, I don't feel like I'm in a three-wheeling vehicle. I feel like I'm in a normal sports car. Yeah. It's a sports car. Yeah. Oops, oops, we designed a sports car. <laughs> the most Ooh. efficient vehicle also is a sports car. Oops. Oops. What are you going to do? <laughs> I don't think it was necessarily the plan, but it's what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's what happens when you have an ultra lightweight motor, you know, vehicle with really torquey motors, right? I mean, I mean it just, you just get that, so. You just got to take it and run with it, you know? You designed an impeccable vehicle for when you're going to the grocery store and you want efficiency, or yep. you want to go to like Sonoma Raceway or Laguna Seca and you want to just go have fun with the boys. This is a perfect all-around vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you can see this is, you know, production, suspension, and basically production motors as well. Uh -huh. We're going to be able to get a few more percentage of efficiency out of the motors, uh, the final motors. This feels like three times more connected and planted than the Alpha. Yeah, I would say. You know, the crazy thing is that there's no car you can buy with this performance for this price. For around $30,000, you can get a 0 to 60 Aptera in three and a half seconds. You know, even a base Tesla nowadays is like 46 grand. Yeah. Uh, so to 
come in at 25.9 for a base Aptera. That still gets 250 mile range and zero to 60 in like five and a half seconds. That's pretty good. I and mean, to get the dual motors only, or the other motors only 2,500 extra. So I think a lot of people probably will after they experience this. And so you guys were saying like this structure, even without the roll bar, is the strongest of any production of car? So yeah, we we previously did roof crush testing old Aptera, and they found that this was the, the best roof crush strength out of any production vehicle okay. ever made. And wow. uh, we made a lot of improvements since then as well with our composite structure and our, our design. So we're you know doing a ton of simulations to make sure that these are you know not only fun and cool but also safe as yeah. well. I think some people if they think three wheel they don't necessarily think safe. You know they think motorcycle they don't think safe but yeah. this is, isn't really a motorcycle it's an auto cycle. Yeah because you have a structure over your head you don't need a helmet and because uh, it's a three wheel you don't need a motorcycle license in the vast majority of states. So really Again, it's, it's a normal car. Has anyone put this thing around a corner, like drifted? Is it possible? It's definitely been done. We've we've tried like the rollover tests where you really try to make it roll over and we can't do it at all. It's okay. just because of the wide stance. So how was it, Vivek? Oh, it is a night and day. I mean, first, first impression is the acceleration on the Alpha will put a smile on your face and this thing will just have you beaming from ear to ear. The suspension, I would say it's about three times improved. Uh, over the alpha version. Really um, so much more confident in the corners, better, smoother over bumps still, uh, like more confident in the corners and smoother over bumps. And dude, the acceleration is great.